I, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I listened to Dean before. He, he sang uh, You Alone, uh, Perry Como, his Bison sang it. And uh, then he sang That's Amori, that's another Bisoner song. And uh, he introduced Anna Marie Alberghetti and Vic Damone. Now one of my people are coming out. <laughs> This is a young man, ladies and gentlemen, who uh, <laughs> certainly deserves the great, great credit he's getting as comedy star of the new great motion picture, Top Banana. The gentleman who played the featured role on Broadway, the gentleman who is certainly a great comic, and above all, a very nice guy, Mr. Phil Silvers, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know how happy Dean and I are that you were able to make it tonight. Well, Kesari's Gumba, hey. <laughs> it does rub off on you. I, I, Jerry was nice enough to refer to me as a young man. I'll be an old man before this is over with. I would like to take uh, a moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is not an accompanist in that sense of the word. In the emergency of this wonderful benefit, I myself <laughs> am confused because I got to be back on the set in February. And uh, <laughs> this very wonderful gentleman here, a great composer, great musician, the writer of the great show, gentleman for Blonde, Hazel Flag, and many hit songs too numerous to mention. He was kind enough to come here with me, Mr. Julie Stein at the piano. <laughs> this, uh, for those of you ladies and gentlemen who don't see this wonderful Cafe Circle, it's a great theater. I have played some traps in my time, but this is... Even to the stage. I mean, the stage itself is so lovely. It's got that, uh, I can never say the word. I think you know what I mean. The, the molemen on the floor. And it gives you a certain... Linoleum. The molem... What? Linoleum. The molem... And... Uh, Linoleum, you, Phil. I said it. The molem... Le... And, hmm? Le... Le... No... No... Le... Le... Um... Um... Linoleum. The molem... <laughs> it's just a kind of a blind spot with me. Words with too many L's for me. That other word... The stuff they make the kitchen utensils out of, that's a real fracture. That, uh, aluminum. Aluminum. Alu aluminum. Aluminum. Should never start it, but. Aluminum. 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 Ah. Ah. Lu. Lu. Me. Me. Num. Num. Aluminum. Linoleum. <laughs> exactly. Uh, watching this wonderful show downstairs on the monitor, it occurred to me what a wonderful audience you all have been. And I thought you deserved this. <laughs> and so I would like to play it for you. I would like to play Mitchell Parrish's Stardust. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote the words. You always hear Hoagie Carmichael. Mitchell Parrish wrote the word. None of which you will hear, but I thought he could use the plot. <laughs> Julie, I play this in E flat, making the eight ball in the side pocket at the same time. You will follow me, won't you? Stardust. Oh. As a slight precaution, will this camera just back a little? Because sometimes when I play, there's a fine spray comes out of it. <laughs> we don't want to wet up ABC, do we? All right, would you give me A so we know we're in key? That's as close as we're going to get. That's fine. Right. Start up. play a little to you. <laughs> Let's remember the billing, huh? Bill Silvers and Boy, it says. Remember. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> just heard cost my mother thirty thousand dollars <laughs> Who's 
them for him. Did you rehearse it this way? No. Well, I guess we're accompanying the orchestra. I don't know. <laughs> You're not getting familiar with the musicians, are you? No. I don't like that, you know. Don't get familiar with the musicians. One of them spoke to me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and? I answered him. <laughs> I told you not to get familiar with musicians. I am a star and I must maintain my standing. I won't have it. No, no, no. <laughs> You're not to do that again. You get into their bad habits, wear the brown shoes at the tuxedos. I don't want it. No. <laughs> I promised your mother I'd bring you home pure, and that's the way it's going to be. Happens, don't you? You get some of musicians. Jealousy. They can't understand a comedian having a fine tone such as I have. Where's the leader? This wouldn't happen if the leader was here. Where is he? Dick Dabley. What's his name? Where's that fellow that's supposed to control these boys? Dick Dabley. What's his Dick name? The Dick the Beal. Dick Dabley. Dick the Beal. Dick. 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 Da. Beal. Dick the Beal. Aluminum. Oh. <laughs> no musician. Don't fraternize with him. We must keep our place. All right, enough is enough. Who's the wise guy who did that? <laughs> <laughs> who did that? Who was it? All right, flutes. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was the drummer. <laughs> That's the humor of the joke, you see. And I said, who did that? And you hear a noise, boom, boom, boom. It's a drum, unmistakably. But I pull a switch, I say, flutes off. That's the humor of the thing. I mean, the contrast. The flute is a very thin instrument. That's a flute. You see? I know that's a flute. Boom, 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 boom. That's a drum. But I said, flute's off. No, we go all the time. That's the humor of it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wonderful, real great performance. What is that? Uh, 